Hey guys, this is Eddie. This is another edition of On Board. Today I'm going to go over how I do a gimbal bearing on my Bravo 3s on my boat. So there are a couple tools that you're going to need, some special tools as well. Now, the first thing you're obviously going to need is a gimbal bearing. And there's two different types of gimbal bearings. There's a sealed bearing, which I have right now, and this is a Merc part. I always use Quicksilver. And there's also a grease one, where you'll have to line up the grease fitting into the groove of the gimbal bearing. So you're going to need that. Then the next thing you're going to need is a puller. So there's two different pullers. This is a slap hammer, which does work and pulls it out as well, but it's a little harder with the helmet on. So I got this gimbal puller, which goes on the back, it attaches to the helmet, and then you just need a 5-8 socket to tighten that up. You're going to put this in, and that's going to push this out around the bearing, and then you're going to turn it with an inch and an eighth wrench, and that's going to pull it out. I'm going to show you how that works. This is what I'm going to use today. Now when it comes time to put it in, I just like to spray it up a little bit, lube it up, make it a little easier to go in. Now you're going to need an alignment tool and a gimbal press. So basically, this is both com combined into one. So I got this on Amazon. You do have to drill the hole. It was a little difficult. I did bring it to a press to get it done. And I have a little seal, the O-ring from the drive shaft that I use to mark it and make it. I'll show you how to do that. And this will align it and press it in too as well. So you're going to need a hammer. So if this hammer is not big enough, you may need a bigger one. Uh, I usually start with this so I make sure that the bearing is even and then I bang it all the way in. So now I do have a grease gun. I am going to put some grease back in the boot and everything when I'm done with it and around it. It doesn't have a grease fitting so it doesn't go in the bearing but I'm going to try and do it as careful as possible. Alright, so let's go to the back of the boat and let's get okay, this job So I'm going to show you how this works. So I took the O-ring from the drive shaft, I slipped it over here and now I'm going to put this on here like this and now that's going to tell me where I'm going to drill this hole. So what I would do is put it inside, push it straight in now I'm making sure that my shaft is all lined up and everything and when I pull it out it's going to tell me where the hole's got to be and then you're going to have to drill the hole. Now that's not an easy hole to drill so you're going to have to really get a press or bring it to a machine shop and get it done. It was very hard for me to do and a bit broke in there and Let's I had to take it to a machine just shop. Just tighten this in there. So it's an allen key and just make it tight. Okay, that's not what we need right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the press to take it out. So this is going to go right inside, just like that. And it's just going to go over these bolts and around the gear oil full. Okay reservoir. guys, I have the press in and I'm just putting the bolts on. I just snug them. They really don't do anything because the pressure is against the helmet. But what's important is to try to make this as straight as possible. So I use this screwdriver, flat screwdriver, to make it the angle as straight as possible. And then I'm going to take the plunger piece, put that in there like that, and then I'm going to tighten this so it pushes against the helmet and starts pulling the bearing out. Okay. Okay, guys. I just uh, I'm gonna need a beer. Pop the bearing out. You can see how that was a little bit of work. And there is the old gimbal. So that piece goes in there. Then you got to get that out. So we'll pull this plunger out, and then. 
here's what I'm talking about. So let's zoom into here. You see right there? You got that? Okay. See that right there? That's where the grease fitting's got to line up to. So here's my grease fitting over on the side of the, over here. So you got to line it up with that. It goes in over like that. Uh, it is a little easier to do when the, when the helmet's off to put this, to line that up, but you could get it lined up. Okay. So that's got to go in there. You can see right and then here, right there, that's where the grease fitting is. So that's where you'd have to line it up. But in this case, it's a sealed bearing, so you don't need to, to do that, to line it up. So you put it on there like that, so now it's like totally even. And then you're just gonna line that up with the shaft. Just like that. So that's why this is nice, because everything is just all lined up. And then you're gonna take the hammer, and I'm just gonna take a quick look to make sure that it's going in right. Okay, everything looks good, you see it? It's all going in real good. Just gonna get that back in there. You can hear it. You hear that thud? That's hitting the, uh, the inside of the gimbal housing. And that's it. It is in. So the bearings are all the way in. Just making sure everything's all good. It sounded nice. You can see it. Everything's pretty much lined up, which is good. I'm just going to check that one more time. Everything is all aligned, the bearing's in, it's in all the way. So that's pretty much how you do a gimbal bearing. I hope this video helped you out. Once again, my name is Eddie, and this is another edition of On Board. We'll catch you next time.